actually someone who is credited with, you know, he played a major role in pushing Al Shabaab out of Mogadishu when he was in, uh, in office briefly as the prime minister. And this was actually the campaign trust, you know, uh, when he was running for the presidency. He said he's going to ensure that um, Al Shabaab is actually pushed out of uh, areas that they're actually in control of. So this statement uh, that he's going to go all out to push them out after 60 days is not coming as a shock to many people. And for uh, Al Shabaab, it's an unpredictable group. You no know, one actually knows what next they're going to do. But it would be really surprising if um, their members will come out to embrace amnesty. This is more like a policy shift. Previous Somali uh, government uh, didn't really go all out to push out Al Shabaab. What they were doing was more like uh, appealing to them to lay down their arms, appealing to them to stop attacks. But right now, this is like a very firm directive, and the deadline has been set. Al Shabaab vigorously campaigned against people voting for him because they know his antecedents and they knew that uh, he will, if he gets into office, he's going to come after them. So they were telling people not to vote for him. And now that he's been voted into power, they've been carrying out attacks, trying to more like uh, uh, rubbish his electoral promises. And in the next few days, it will not be surprising if they also want to make like uh, a show, put up like a show of force to actually uh, more like put their foot down, uh, trying to rubbish whatever directive has been issued by the president of uh, Somalia.